Hi, my name's Louie, and I'll be showing you how to run your drums through a cassette tape and then get them onto Ableton so you can add some texture and some character to your drum recordings. First, you're going to want to get your cassette tape ready and connected to your audio interface. This deck uses an RCA connector for both the input and the output, so we're going to be running uh, two RCA to a 1 4th inch uh, TRS jack for the output of the tape deck. That's going to go into the input of our audio interface. And then for the input of the tape deck, we are using a dual RCA to aux adapter and then an aux to a one fourth, uh, one fourth inch jack, which will be running from the audio interface headphone jack to the input of the tape deck. However, uh, leave it unplugged until it's time to put the drums onto tape. Next, you're going to want to create a drum loop that you're satisfied with. Remember that once you put these drums onto tape, you won't be able to change any aspect of the drums without running it through tape again. So make sure you're satisfied with the pattern and sound of the drums. Uh, this is my drum loop. Once you have a drum loop, we are going to record it onto the cassette tape. So you plug in your RCA to aux adapter into your uh, audio interface headphone jack, and you wind the cassette deck to the place where you want to start to record. Here I'm using the 300 mark. Next, you're going to want to put the deck onto a recording mode and play your drum loop on Ableton. As you can see, when you do that, you're going to get the levels on the Dex uh, screen and here you'll want to adjust the levels to where you want. The character of the tape distortion comes from the tape audio clipping creating a unique distortion. So I made it so that the audio is clipping a, a bit, but not all the time just when there's the louder hits. Later in the video I'll show the difference between a heavier and a lighter tape distortion. Once you have your level set you can pause the drum loop on Ableton, uh, press play on the deck, and then Press play on the drum loop on Ableton. Now your drum loop is being recorded onto the cassette tape. Uh, I let the loop play a couple of times and then press stopped on the deck once it was done. The next step is to get your recorded drums from the cassette tape into Ableton. To do that, you're going to create a new audio track, make sure there's no effects on that track, and then you're going to set the input to the inputs that your cassette deck is plugged into. For us, it's 7 and 8. Activate that track, then you can mute the drum loop that you created, and you can turn off the loop mode here. Then you're going to rewind the cassette deck to where you started that drum recording. To For us, it's 300. Um, you're going to start recording on Ableton, and then press play on the cassette deck. Now you can stop recording and press stop on the cassette deck. Now that you have your recorded drums here, you're going to um, cut the excess. Uh, recording off here you can just go like that and if you zoom in you can really get close here uh, I'll put it right there and then you go on the other side too Oops, sorry. and you can cut the end and now you have that recording, but if you look closely here, actually if you just look on the grid the timeline here and you go further down the recording, you're going to see that some of these hits, oh, sorry, some of these hits are off tempo. Uh, let's see, one down here. Yeah, you can see that it's a bit off the grid and this is just because the nature of the cassette tape, uh, especially when you record stuff, it's not going to become a hundred percent accurate recording and then you can really notice that once you put the recording up against a grid and to fix that you just got to go use the Ableton warp mode so you're going to go to the beginning of your drum loop 
and make this right click. All right, you're gonna set a marker here, and then right click that and put it to set uh, one, one, one here. So that's gonna be the star of your loop now. It's at one, one, and you're gonna be able to warp all your um, drums back into time. I use the snare as my uh, guideline because the snare is a pretty identifiable sound weight. It's like the strongest one and it's happening at every third beat of every measure. So I just use those as my guideline and I make those on tempo. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then once you've done that with every snare hit of your loop, you'll have an on-time uh, drum loop that you ran through a cassette deck. So now I'm going to show you the effect or distortion that the cassette tape gives to the drums. So here's just our basic drum loop. So now I'm going to play with a little bit of music to add some context. <laughs> Thanks for watching.